In this section, you'll have to check your machine's operation. These checks must only be carried out by a trained operator. If at any point you do not understand a check or test, please refer to the operator's manual. Having carried out the walk-around inspection and fluid level checks, the cab is next. Before entering the cab, replace the battery isolator key. When entering and exiting the cab, you must have three points of contact with the machine at any one time. The driver's seat is part of the cab's safety system and must be checked. Ensure it is free from damage and works correctly. Check the seat fully adjusts forwards and backwards and the seat back adjusts. Fasten the seat belt, make sure it locks and check with a tug. Test the horn to ensure other site members and road users can hear you. Check all the window wipers and washers are working and top up washer bottle as required. Visibility is important for site safety. All lights need to be checked to ensure they're in working order, including the beacon. Get a colleague to help check the rear lights. There are two different JCB immobilizer systems. One uses a keypad and the other a unique key system. Before you disarm the keypad immobilizer, make sure you know your four-digit security code. Do not operate the buttons with sharp objects, as they may damage the keypad. To disarm the keypad immobilizer, put the key in the ignition and turn to position 1. Push the MD button on the keypad and enter your four-digit security code. Press the Enter button. The green LED will come on and the machine can be started. To arm the immobilizer, turn off the engine and remove the ignition key. The immobilizer will arm automatically after two minutes. If you're unsure of the security code, then do not start this procedure. If the security code is entered incorrectly five times, the immobilizer will lock for 15 minutes. In this event, it's recommended that you contact the machine owner for confirmation of the security code. To clear the system, key the machine off and immediately back on. Leave the machine for a minimum of 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, key off the ignition, then key on and enter the correct code. The green LED will come on and the machine can be started. The unique key immobilizer system uses a special ignition key that's supplied with the machine. You can only use this ignition key to start or operate the machine. This key can be identified by its larger body and a radio signal symbol on the key shaft. The machine will only recognize keys that have been linked to it, so it's very important that keys are marked up and stored correctly. Additional keys can be ordered through the machine provider or the local JCB dealer. Before turning on the ignition, ensure the machine is in neutral and the handbrake is applied. Start the engine, ensuring no warning lights are left illuminated. Machine information can be found on the dash display. This is navigated with the information button. To check for any active faults on the machine, use the information button to navigate to the hospital symbol. Press and hold the information button until the screen changes. This will then display any current faults. To return to the main display, press and then hold the information button. To check the foot brake, press down on the brake pedal, making sure the pedal does not go to the floor and you can feel pressure in the pedal. The park brake must be fully engaged when the lever is vertical. The park brake warning icon must come on when the park brake is engaged. To check the park brake, raise the boom to the appropriate travel position. Select fourth gear, push down hard on the brake pedal, Select Forward Drive. The park brake warning light must illuminate. If the machine starts to move during the park brake test, immediately apply the foot brake and reduce the engine speed. Next, move the park brake lever fractionally forward until the park brake warning light is just extinguished. Slowly release the foot brake pedal. If the machine has not moved, use the accelerator to gradually increase the engine speed to 1500 RPM. The machine should not move. Do not do this test for longer than 20 seconds. After the test, reduce the engine to idle, select neutral and fully apply the park brake. Lower the attachment to the ground. 
If the machine has moved during the test, then report it immediately. Check the reverse alarm is functioning by releasing the park brake with your foot on the brake pedal. Select reverse gear and the alarm will sound. Return the machine to neutral and reapply the park brake. If no alarm is heard, report and rectify immediately.